so I think what's interesting about this whole concept of interstellar objects, yeah, you know, coming into our, you know, into a near Earth or into our solar system, it's a relatively rare, at least from our ability to track it. Our to ability to track, track it. it. That's the thing. It is. It is. It the is. The first one was um, Oumuamua, Oumuamua, I believe it was called. Yes. That was yes. in the late 2010s. Yes. So just maybe five, no, like probably less than 10 years ago. Yes. And then the next one that came out was 2i Borisov. Yes. And well, then this is the third one. We've only seen three, mm -hmm. right? And the reason we've only seen three is probably our inability to see the rest. Fair. Right? This is might be super common. Right. We've only had like a giant network of telescopes doing this kind of stuff for not very long. Right. 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 Um, so it's not like, you know, all of a sudden someone turned on right. the interstellar button right and like now, in 2015 right. and now we're just starting to see stuff right, right and right. for that we need like telescopes that are dedicated to just like finding this kind of stuff which means we need to fund science for that we actually have a telescope now beginning in 2025 nsf doe rubin observatory will embark on the legacy survey of space and time a 10-year survey of the night sky using the biggest camera ever made capturing an ultra-wide, ultra-high-definition time-lapse record of the universe, Yeah, which sounds incredible. You know that previous story we were talking about? Yes. With um, 3 Eye Atlas? Yes. If Verisi Rubin Observatory had gone online a month ago, a month before it did, yes. it went online in July. If it went online in June, it would have found this object within three day within three days that's incredible okay that's what this observatory is doing this observatory's only job is to take a picture of the night sky the entire night sky every three nights mm -hmm. and that's it that's it that's it like robotic clockwork mm -hmm. like 15 years ago the astronomers came together and were like we need something like a large survey telescope yes whose only job right is to survey the night sky right. because we're tired of living in still pictures right we want to we want to upgrade to movies right now right 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 and and so we need one telescope that does exactly that this, that's actually a great analogy we're moving from photography to videography in yeah. space yeah it's it's like one of the greatest observatories that mankind has ever built